All right, so for the next part, what we need to do is a level of this build platform. And so we're gonna need to remove the tub, pull it out for now, grab the provided Allen wrench, and we're gonna loosen these four bolts for the build plate. So once you loosen them, it's going to just kind of move around up and down and side to side. So, And the reason we want it loose is because we're going to lower our Z axis down to level the build platform. So I'm going to use this reasonably thick quality control piece of paper here as my leveling base. And so we're going to go into tools and then we're going to go to move Z axis and we're going to click on the home button. I don't know if you guys can see any of that. Maybe now you can, but yeah, there's a home button here and we're going to click on that. And that's going to lower the Z axis down. And it's just going to fall right where it needs to go. And so right now this is homed, but since our build plate is loose, it can go up, down, you know, side to side. So what you want is you want it to sit flat, kind of press it down just a little bit and tighten these four bolts on the sides. And the reason you want to put some pressure down on the build plate, not a lot of pressure, just so it's flat, is because you want it to be even when you tighten it up. So yeah, simple as that. Now we have a nice little gap between the screen and the build plate. And the reason you want a little gap is because you have the film here in between and you want to leave a little room for that plus the first layer. So after you tighten this, then you're going to go back and click set Z to zero. And basically that's just going to put in the memory that this is where the start point is. So if we click on that, it's going to ask us if you want to set it. Yes, enter. And now we are finished with the bed leveling. And yeah, that was not very hard and pretty simple as you guys saw. So let's go ahead and check the LCD panel here by going into tools and clicking the detection button here. So this is testing out the top of the screen, make sure it works, the LCD and the UV lights. So we have a few options we can test. Let's just go with what it's got, click next. And this is what it's gonna draw out. And hopefully you guys can see we have that pattern there. Okay, so that was only for six seconds. Let's do 30 seconds. And let's try another pattern here, click next. So now it's in the middle. And you guys can maybe see the type of UV lamps that they have in there. And these are actually called matrix parallel, kind of like an optical way of spreading the light. And it has like these little bubble balls spread the UV light evenly. But yeah, it looks like everything is working. The LCD is working and the UV lights are operating. So we do have another one. Let's see what that one looks like out of curiosity. Okay, so that's the whole screen wide open. So yeah. All right, so that looks good. So let's set our tub back in here and we'll tighten it up. So from here on, we're pretty much ready to do our first print. 